going on everyone uh, today is Thursday and I uh, just got some parts in that I've been waiting on um, for a while my brakes have been pretty iffy and I've been hoping that I could get something to replace them so I hit up uh, good old eBay might as well so, what I got me these probably aren't the greatest but ceramic pads and these are the fronts I got uh, drilled and slotted rotors for both the front and the rear so I'm gonna be changing those out this weekend also since I since I'm redoing the exhaust this is a This is an oil pan from a manual transmission Mazda 6. Difference between mine and this one is under here you can see it's got this valley underneath the bottom. So I'm going to put this one on and that will allow me to redo the entire thing and I can run my exhaust straight back. So I hit up uh, Speedway Motors and Speedway Motors sells a bunch of exhaust stuff. This is the exhaust kit that I picked up from them. Um, all of the pieces they have in there, it's got four of the uh, four of the 90 degree elbows, and then it's got four of these loops as well, plus four 45s and four long pieces of metal there. So between everything, I should be able to have enough exhaust pipe to go all the way from the front to the back and instead of running one single pipe normally this one and this one come off one pipe going straight all the way back and then it branches out to a Y so instead of running one single pipe from each manifold I'm gonna run a separate pipe as long as I have enough I'm gonna run one separate pipe for each one so it will actually be a true dual setup instead of being the single in dual out so if that makes sense um, I have been kind of hurt for uh, the past week or so I have a torn muscle in my right arm so I'm being real careful trying not to strain it but I'm gonna get back into filming and this will be the first part of it hopefully it works out hopefully you guys like the new camera because I'm honestly loving it so far everything's coming out crystal clear and I'm pretty happy with the results so I'll check back with you guys very shortly
so this is my old rotor as you can see this thing is worn down really bad uh, I'm pretty sure it's the original I just got this off I had to take that bracket off and get everything off of there but this is the new front rotor drilled and slotted um, all I need to do is just clean this off get it prepped to go on and then I can pull the uh, the new pads out put those in and then we'll be good to go Alright, so new rotors on, got the slots going the right way, drilled parts are going the right way. I went ahead and cleaned this whole thing off with a uh, brake cleaner. You want to make sure that when you first get the rotors that you clean them off because you'll have the grease that stays in there to keep them from corroding. You want to clean that off, make sure that that's not on the rotor because when you first go to stop, once you put those on, the brakes are going to want to slip. So you need to make sure that you clean those off. I got the new pads that I got to put on, but first I got to put this uh, caliber bracket back on, and then once I put that on, um, if you can see right there, I've got some uh, grease that I put on there for the brake pads. I got to put some more of that on there, get those greased up, and then I can finish up this side. Um, I'm not going to show the other side because it's going to be repetitive, but I'll show the back because the back is a lot different. But the front is pretty easy. It's like any other common uh, Japanese car. So um, catch back in just a minute and I'll show you the end result. All right, I just got this side uh, done. Uh, kind of running out of light, but you can kind of see it there. I got the rotor on, brake pads are in. I need to, at some point, paint the rotors, or not the rotors, the calipers, because those look like crap. But anyway, New rotors are in, new pads, everything looks good. I'm really happy with how it came out. All I've got is the other three to do, and then I'm good to go. All right guys, so as I was saying, this is the style for the back. Um, on this car, the way that the bearing's set up, you have to pull this dust cap off before you can get this rotor off. Uh, it makes it a lot easier if you take it off before you take the rotor off that way you can just transfer it on to the other one but the way this is set up you have your if you can see right here that's your emergency brake cable and that goes into this caliper um, I will be lowering the back of this car uh, I just haven't had a chance to but um, right now I'm working on getting these rotors changed out now the back of course is a lot different like I said than the front but once you slide this off of here as I I guess my back brakes were almost worn out all the way so it's a good thing I went ahead and changed them alright so this is the back one um, if you notice on here the back is not drilled all the way through and uh, it does have the slots on it so that one is done I didn't run through the entire thing of, uh, of putting this on because I was just trying to make sure that everything would come off. These bolts were actually a pain to get off because I don't think they've been off for a long time. But I'm going to do the left side and see if that one comes out any better. And uh, I'll let you guys know what happens in just a minute. Alright, so I apologize about the bad lighting, but it is... Uh almost eight o'clock now but I'm on the left side I've got both the rights done all I've got left is this one and um, if you can see how deep this ridge is right here these rotors were pretty close to being trashed and um, when I pulled the brake pads off of this side they literally had nothing left 
and they were very close to being completely worn out. So as soon as I get this changed out, um, I'm going to move to the front one, which you can't see because it's dark. But uh, all I've got to do is take this caliper bracket off, get the old rotor off, and then I've got the new one right there. i got to clean it off with brake cleaner, and then I'll be good to go. Um, also, now that you can actually see them, these are the hub-centric rings that I was talking about. Um, I've had these on the car and they, they work really well. Um, I had some polycarbonate ones and they worked to an extent, but once you got to higher speeds then they really didn't work very well. But um, I'm very happy with them. They've worked great. And uh, I'm just going to move on to getting that caliper bracket off, get everything put together, and then I'll show you something on these cars that's a little bit different. Uh, I know Volkswagens and Porsche have it in common, but I don't know if uh, any other cars have it. But I'll show you in just a minute. Alright, hopefully y'all can see this, but this is the piston for the rear caliper. This design is set up like the uh, Volkswagens, where you have to have a special tool to turn this and push it at the same time. And um, I know some of the Mazda Miatas have it, the Mazda 3, the Ford Focus, um, Volkswagen Passats and Jettas all have it, and some of the BMWs. But this uh, is more of a European design than Japanese, which is kind of strange that they put it on this car, but this is the biggest pain when you're doing brakes. And it's kind of why I don't like doing the rear brakes on here, but this is the last part of putting the rear brakes together. I've got uh, just a little bit left to go. I got the new rotor on and uh, everything's back together other than putting the caliper back on and new brake pads. But as soon as I do that, I'll button this up and then we'll go ahead and move to the front.